Hi and welcome. The goal of this episode is to send data from form we created in previous episodes to the server. So let's open sign up form component that we created earlier. And here on submit, instead of this console.log, we're going to use Axios library to make a post request to API slash users with data user as this state. Okay, so when we submit in the form, we make the post request. So let's input access from access here, save it. And of course we need to install it. So we'll do npm install save access. Okay, let's run server, open up browser, reload the page. And let's try to sign up. Okay, we're making post request. As you can see here, with all the relevant data. Nice, we've done. <laughs> that was the shortest episode so far. But we'll use Redux for store management as well as for firing up actions. Basically, Redux gives us actions so every time something happens in application, action is dispatched. This way, all changes are governed by them, which is very convenient. And our components just call functions and pass data to them without knowing what's going on. So at last, we need to install and set up Redux. We don't need to store anything in Global Redux Store for this feature. We only need to use Actions for now. But to install it, we still need to define Store. So we need to make two things. First, we need to wrap our application in provider component. So let's open client index file. And we need to wrap this router with provider. And the second thing, we need to set up global Redux store, which is going to be empty for now. Okay, so let's do it. So first, let's wrap this router component into provider component. And this provider component takes store, which we're going to define in a moment. Okay, and here I'm going to close it. So the provider component is given to us by React Redux. So let's import provider from React Redux. Okay, the next step, we need to define the store. So we define constant store equals and for that, we're going to use create store function from Redux. And it takes several parameters. So the first one is the root reducer. And reducer is just a function which takes state and action and returns new state. So in our case, this function takes state, which by default is going to be empty object, and it returns this empty object state. Very simple. Next parameter could be initial state, but we do not need and we do not have one yet. So instead, we go right to the third parameter where we can apply middleware. And this apply middleware function is provided by Redux. And we need to apply one middleware that we're going to use right now. That's the thunk middleware. And thunk middleware allows us to dispatch asynchronous actions. And we'll see how to do that in a moment. So now let's input all this stuff. So we're going to input thunk from Redux thunk. And we're going to import create store from Redux. Okay, let's save it. Now we need to install all these packages. So we npm install save Redux, React Redux, and Redux Thunk. Okay, let's run our server again. And let's go to browser, reload the page, and see what's going on. Oh, apply middleware. I forgot about this. So we imported it from Redux as well. Go back to browser, reload the page. Okay, no errors. Excellent. We're good to go. Now Redux is installed, set up, and we can use its features. So back to sign up form. Here, instead of making actual request, what we're going to do, we're going to call function, which will store on props. So we'll make this props and function is going to be user sign up request. And we pass 
this state data to this function. So we do not need to have access here anymore. As we expect this component to have this function passed to it, so let's define prop types. So right here at the bottom I will define sign up form prop types equals an object and inside of this object we define user sign up request to be react prop types function is required. Okay, so now if you go to browser all over the page, you'll see that we have a warning which tells us that we need to pass this function. And we need to check the render method in sign up page. So we go up to the sign up page. So let's open it up. Right here we have a sign up form. We need to pass user sign up request to it. User sign up request. So now we can see that we actually need to have this function as well in this component, it's sign up page component. We'll take it from props here. User sign up request equals this props. And we expect that this component will have it, so let's go back here and let's copy this prop types and paste it right here, changing form to page. Okay, so this component also expects this function to be passed. But from where this page component gets this function, it takes it from Redux itself. And we'll use connect high order component to provide this func function to page component. So let's add connect here, like this. And connect function takes two parameters. First one is map state to props, which provides some piece of data from Redux store. It takes state and returns object. So let's just create an empty one. So it take state and it's going to return empty object for now. We do not need any state from Redux for this particular component and for this feature. But we need to specify second parameter, which is map dispatch to props, where we specify action creators wrapped in dispatch. We'll use shortcut version of defining it simply by providing object with action name and action name is going to be user sign up request. So now we need to import connect from React Redux and we need to import our action from actions. We're going to create this folder sign up actions like this. So let's create the sign up actions file. Inside of here, I'm going to client folder. Here I define actions, sign up actions.js. So we export function, user sign up request, which takes user data. And then to use thunk middleware, instead of object, we return function in which we can make anything we need. And this function takes dispatch, receives dispatch which we can use inside of this function to dispatch in other actions. But right now we just return promise of access making post requests. So we do the same thing that we did in a component previously. We'll do API users and we pass user data. And of course we need to import access. So let's try it out. I'm going back to browser, reload the page. No errors so far, that's a good sign. Let's sign up. We make in post request. Excellent, it works. With all relevant data and we use Redux Thunk Actions for it. Excellent. That's exactly what we wanted to do. And last one, final touch in sign up page here where we define connect and we make in this map dispatch. Instead of it, we simply can pass now. Okay, so it still works. Let's commit. So it sends data to server via Redux Thunk action. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.